Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And we finally have our haul for DCBS June 2024. I am so excited. For some reason, this has been in transit for more than a week. It came pretty close to me and then it got sent backwards in transit and then came back this way. I'm not sure what happened there. FedEx, what's going on? We need our comics. But I'm excited that it's finally here and it feels like a hefty box. Let's find out what's in here and open it up. This stuff is always so well packaged. There are tons of comics here. First one you guys already saw, looks like we have The Last Ronin 2 Re-Evolution and this one, I did double dip on this one, I got both covers, let's take a look at what we got here on that other cover. So this is cover B, Kevin Eastman, and this is cover A. Are you guys reading the individual issues of Last Ronin Re-Evolution, or are you guys going to wait for the hardcover? This one, I'm probably going to start reading this one this weekend been catching up on a lot of my reading the last week. You can see there's my reading pile right over there. Just finished the stack about the same size last night. Well, let's take a look at this first stack here of comics, see what we got. First up, we got Void Rivals number nine. Got a transformer on the cover. That's really interesting. I love the artwork on this and the space setting. All right, next up, we got Rook Exodus number two. What are you guys thinking about this one? It's crazy that this team, creators are doing so many books right now.
That's pretty badass right there. Next up, we got Titans number 11. Started picking this one back up, so I'm pulling Titans right now. I'm deciding to pull a couple ongoings, but I'm gonna stop doing mini series. There's a couple in this pile that I'm gonna finish off, but I'm gonna stop doing mini series. I think Green Lantern War Journal ends at 12. I wasn't picking this up for a while, then I started up again. After the first couple issues, I was like, you know, it was pretty good. Let me start pulling this. So I got a couple issues to fill in, but um, this is really good. I enjoy Philip Kennedy Johnson stuff. Next up, we got Catwoman 66. This one, I think they're ending this series. I'm not sure. But it'd be interesting to see, are they going to continue doing Catwoman? Or are they just going to stop her title for a while? Or, or maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But that's Catwoman number... Sorry, 65. I thought it was 66. 65. Next up, we got The Deviant number 6. I've been getting this because it's James Tynion and wife likes... James Tynion, and I don't know, I think in the future I'm gonna only get stuff in like trades or hardcovers when it's miniseries or things that aren't like permanently ongoing. Then we got Sinister Sons, number five. Really excited for this one to dive into this series with Tomasi. To that we got Red Hood The Hill number five. So again another mini series. And then we have TMNT Usagi Yojimbo one shot. I started picking up the Saturday morning adventures again because of the just nostalgia factor. Didn't necessarily wanna have two different turtle universes to keep up with. But yeah, I'm just employing this for now. Then we got Wonder Woman number 10. Then we got Nightwing 115. Fallen Grayson. Part 205. Then we got Titans number 12. So we got multiple issues of the same title here because I think that they shipped this a little more than a month after the last shipment. So basically they just gather everything that they've added to my list and ship it with the next shipment. Same thing here, we got Nightwing 114, Fallen Grayson Part 1. Yeah, that's really dope right there. Interesting to see what that's about. And Wonder Woman number 9. And that's a really cool cover right there. I gotta say, I'm really liking the art on here. Sam Peter. And it's just like the shading, the faces, and like just the whole like, I, I just like it. It's a little bit more realistic like, I wanna say. Which isn't necessarily always a good thing, but I think it works for this. And that's a really cool splash page right there. Man's Best Number Three.
of this color palette. Saturday Morning Adventures, number 13. This one's cool because they got different turtles from different universes in here. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. And that's what I like about this series. This is just fun. This is like a good time. It's it's not trying to take itself too seriously, but also it's a lot of nostalgia, a lot of fun. Then you got Man's Best, number four. That's a cool cover right there. TMNT, The Untold Destiny of the Foot Clan, number four. That's a dope cover. TMNT, Black, White, and Green, number two. I wasn't sure if I was going to continue pulling this because I found out it was only like four issues long and I don't think any of the stories are connected. They're all just basically one shot stories and I really only liked one, maybe two of the stories in the first one. So it'd be good to pick up like in trade or hardcover, but I don't know, I shouldn't have started picking this up, but now I'm just like, I'm halfway there already. So I think I already uh, ordered the third one as well. Under York number two. I think I stopped pulling this one. I don't know why I originally ordered it in the first place. I think the premise just seemed cool because it was set in New York City and it was supposedly had like, I don't know if it was magic or like just mythical stuff. I don't know, but like it looked cool. I haven't read it yet, but like I said, I'm just trying to get away from getting these, these smaller shorter runs then here's Catwoman number 66 Nine Lives Part 8 it's a dope David Nakayama cover and then Green Lantern War Journal number 10 All right, so that's the first pile. Let's take a look at the second one. All right, we got Scarlet number one. That's pretty dope. I think they came out with this a couple of weeks ago. I'm just kind of behind because I only get these DCBS orders monthly. That's already starting out pretty dope. Really excited to dive into this one. Next up we got Shazam number 12. Even though Mark Wade and Dan Mora are off the title, I'm still picking this up because I just really like the Shazam, Captain Marvel character. Just fun fact, my dad, his favorite comic book character was Captain Marvel. Before I even knew who he was, he would always tell me about him as a kid and how he was just the, the character was just a kid and he would just say these words and become this huge, powerful superhero and it was really cool. That's awesome that he was into this character, so I really enjoy it. The movies were fun, so I'm enjoying pulling this. Next up we got Wolverine Blood Hunt number one. I'm not really getting these Blood Hunt comics. The only reason I got this was because it's a Kevin Eastman cover and it just looks so cool. So this isn't actually Wolverine number one for the new series that's coming out. This is just a Blood Hunt one shot, I believe. But yeah, he doesn't do the interior art on this, just the cover, just the variant cover. Then 
Not sure I'm digging that interior art on this though. Poison Ivy 23. That is cool. I'm surprised their hunt going has been going on so long. Like they really are focusing on this character and like keeping it going. So I guess she's doing well. I think this is her first ongoing issue, if I'm not mistaken. TMNT Alpha number one. This one is definitely a double dip. I think I ordered it from DCPS because I wasn't sure if my LCS was going to pull it. And when they did, I was like, you know, let me just grab it. You know, it's, it's a good issue to have a couple copies of. Next up, we got TMNT Sourcebook, number three. Now this one, these are really cool. I just love these types of things. This is just like a lot of good information. These are the types of things I just love flipping through randomly, just learning about the characters, learning about the universe. Something I probably will look at once I finish catching up and reading all the IDW run. I'm about a little more than a third of the way there. <clears throat> Next up, we got Geiger number three. After that, we got Transformers number nine. Let me know what do you guys think. Which universe are you more like excited about or just enjoy reading more? The Energon universe or the Ghost Machine universe? Like which one's really better? Are they just different? For me, I'm really enjoying the Energon universe a whole lot, especially like the Void Rivals and the Transformers series. They're just really well done in my opinion and like just easy reads, um, interesting, and surprising at the same time. Next up, we got Scarlet Witch number one. I think I double dipped on this one as well. That's pretty cool. It's the first issue of Scarlet Witch, her new ongoing, and I really don't know what they're doing with these in Marvel, like restarting this again. Next up, we got Once Upon a Time at the End of the World, number 15. I think this is the last one by Jason Aaron. I'm not gonna flip through this, but it's Really, really a good series so far. World Tree number 10. And like, what the heck? Oh man, look at that. What happened there? It's weird. Yeah, that's, that's not good. That's why I get issues, individual issues, because I want it to be in good shape, so. I might have to mention that to them. Batman the Brave and the Bold number 13. Power Girl number 9. What do you guys think about that cover? <laughs> That is pretty cool. And all these comics are tying into House of Brainiac and then Absolute Power. I am not getting Absolute Power. I'm not pulling it. I'm not pre-ordering it. But I don't know. Maybe I might regret that 
because it is done by Mark Wade and I really enjoy his stuff, but um, I don't know, I just don't want to get into the summer events like I was in the last few years and just get all these issues that I'm just really not interested in, but they're tying it into all these titles that I'm pulling. Anyway, that's Penguin number 10. And I don't want to miss out, but I do have DC app, so maybe I'll just read them in there first. And if I decide I like it, maybe I'll get the hardcover whenever they come out with it. Or maybe I'll go back and get some of the individual issues and try to hunt them down for a discount afterwards. And then here's Wolverine number 50. I think it's the last one in the volume. Oversized conclusion plus 50th issue celebratory bonus tales. I haven't been keeping up with this, so I don't know. I'm gonna start reading this pretty soon. So let me know, guys, what is that? Is that like a adamantium suit that he's wearing or, or what's going on there? I guess I should just read it. Detective Comics 1085. Knights number seven. The Holy Roller, number six. And last but not least, we got Feral, number three. Oh, that was a big pile of comics there. I wonder how much the total is, how many t comics I got in this. Wow, that is crazy. We got 44 issues, $131. Not too bad since a lot of them were on discount. But yeah, that is a lot of comics. All right guys, that's pretty much it for this video. And I'm sorry it's been a long one because it just had tons of issues that I had to go through. One thing I wanna let you guys know, stay tuned because I have some videos coming pretty soon of some exciting stuff. I've been saying in some of my past videos that I wanna start picking up more hardcovers, more omnibuses, and try to move a little bit away from single issues. This obviously didn't seem that way, but I'm gonna be getting there. And I have a couple nice pickups coming soon that I wanna show you guys. Anyway, for this, I did wanna talk about one issue that I'm most excited to read out of this haul. And for this one, that's Last Ronin 2, Re-Evolution, issue number two. And I actually haven't read issue number one yet. I'm really behind on this, but I'm just really excited to dive in and find out more about these new turtles. I like stuff that's kind of set in the future and sort of like an alternate um, possibility. So just the last one overall, just been loving this series from the beginning. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in more comic hauls, new comic book days, reviews, all sorts of comic book things, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.